Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Amanda and I'm from Amanda Crochets and in today's tutorial I'm going to teach you how to make the Arctic Cowl. This is a cowl that is made in the round and you go ahead and just make these fun textured stitches by just changing up two different stitches together. These are basic stitches and it just forms this nice little I'm going to call it bubble textured stitch. It's really pretty and I really enjoyed this and it works up very quickly because you're using chunky yarn. So from the bottom of the cobble to the top you're going to have a total of 12 inches for your height and for the circumference so the middle section it's about 13 inches wide you can always customize this cowl to make it a little bit wider or if you want to make it a little bit smaller for a child you can definitely do that as well you can change this up to match your coat you can put whatever color in this that you would like this is just a self striping or variegated yarn but you can always make this in a solid color as well so again this is the arctic cowl so let's get started on learning how to make the arctic cowl today so for today's tutorial, you're going to need three skeins of Hobby Lobby I Love This Chunky Yarn. This is a discontinued color, but they do have a few other colors in this line that are still just as beautiful. And this is 100% acrylic. It is a 3.5 ounce skein or 100 grams, 109 yards or 100 meters. And the recommended hook size is a US K 10.5 or 6.5 millimeter crochet hook. We're actually going to be bumping up our crochet hook today and using a size L 8 millimeter crochet hook. You're also going to need a pair of scissors and a stitch marker will be helpful for this project as we're going to be working in continuous rounds. So for the Arctic Cowl, you want to go ahead and make 70 chains. If you do want to make this um, bigger or smaller, you're going to go ahead and make sure that your chain is in a multiple of two. So as long as your chain is a multiple of two, you can make this as big or as small as you would like. So to make a chain, you're going to go ahead and yarn over your hook and pull through that loop on your hook. The loop on your hook does not count. So that's one chain. So yarn over, pull through for two chains, three, four, five, six. Continue until you have a total of 70 chains. Okay, so once you have your 70 chains, we're going to go ahead and join this so it forms a circle. So you want to get your chain and kind of just run your finger along the flat side so everything is nice and straight. You do not want to twist your chain if you can help it. So once everything is nice and straight, we can go ahead and join to that very first chain that we made with a slip stitch. So insert your hook into that very first chain that you made, yarn over, pull through that chain, and pull through the loop on your hook and that will go ahead and form this nice circle. So we're going to go ahead and chain two, one, and two. And remember, we're going to be working in continuous rounds. So for round one, we're going to make one half double crochet in the first chain and it needs to chain around. So that chain two that we just made is not going to count as a stitch. You're going to go ahead and yarn over your hook. You're going to insert your hook into that very first chain. Yarn over. Pull up a loop. Three loops on your hook. Yarn over. Pull through all three loops. And that is our first half double crochet. So next you're going to get your stitch marker and you're going to insert your stitch marker right in the top of that half double crochet stitch. And then that way you know that's the beginning of your round. OK, 
Okay, so yarn over your hook and in that next chain, go ahead and make another half double crochet. So insert your hook into the top of that chain, yarn over, pull up a loop, three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through all three. So you're going to make one half double crochet in each of the chains around. And again, I'm just going to be going into that top loop of the chain and making my half double crochets. So continue making one half double crochet in each chain around and I will meet up with you and show you how to continue to round two. Okay, so I finished my first round and again, that's all just half double crochets. So I'm going to take out my stitch marker and in that very first stitch, we're going to go ahead and make a triple crochet and a single crochet into that first half double crochet. So in this very first stitch right here, we're going to start with the triple crochet. So yarn over your hook twice, insert your hook into that very first half double crochet, yarn over, pull up a loop. You should have four loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through the first two loops, yarn over, pull through the next two loops, and finally yarn over, pull through the final two loops. And in that same stitch, you're going to go ahead and make a single crochet, so insert your hook into that same stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, two loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two. Okay, we're going to skip the next half double crochet, and in the half double crochet after that, we're going to go ahead and make a triple crochet and a single crochet. So skip this next stitch right here, and stitch after that, you're going to make a triple crochet. And don't forget to get your stitch marker, and in that very first stitch that you made, so it's going to be this stitch right here, you're going to go ahead and insert that stitch marker, so that way you know the beginning of the round. For each of your rounds, you should have a total of 70 stitches. Okay, so again, we're going to skip that and stitch after that, triple crochet, so yarn over your hook twice, insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, four loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. In that same stitch, go ahead and make a single crochet, insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, two loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through both loops. And now you're going to continue this all the way around. So again, you're going to yarn over your hook twice, skip that next stitch, and the stitch after that, make your triple crochet, and then a single crochet into that same stitch. Continue this pattern all the way around, and I will meet up with you for round three. Okay, so I took my stitch marker out, but this is the back side of your work. So when you turn your cowl around, you will actually see the pattern forming on the outside. So that triple crochet and single crochet stitches forms that little bit of a bubble, and it just makes a really nice pattern, nice and textured. Okay, so for the remainder of this cowl, you're just going to repeat round two by making a triple crochet and single crochet in the first stitch, and then you're going to be working, you're going to skip the next stitch, and then you're going to work into the stitch after that. So you're going to go ahead and find all your triple crochets, so in this case it's going to be right here. You're going to skip the single crochet of each round, and you're going to be working in the tops of the triple crochet. So again, yarn over your hook twice, insert your hook into that triple crochet, and then complete your triple crochet 
and single crochet. Again, if you want to follow along with your rounds, you can go ahead and insert your stitch marker. However, if you do not want to, you can go ahead and continuously work this pattern until your desired height. So I'm going to go ahead and work my cowl and I will show you what my cowl looks like so far as well as how many rounds I did. So again, you're going to be working the same thing as in round two. So triple crochet and single crochet, skip the next stitch and repeat that around. Okay, so I finished my cowl so far and from the very top of my cowl to the very bottom, so the height of my cowl, it's about 12 inches. If you want to make more rounds, feel free. You can always customize this to make it a more chunky and bigger cowl if you so choose, or a taller cowl. And I did a total of 20 rounds of that triple crochet and the single crochet stitches. Again, if you want to make this shorter or, or bigger, you can definitely do that as well. So once you get your desired height, we're going to go ahead and work the last round of our, our cowl. So for this last round, I'm just going to be mimicking the very first round of the cowl, which is your half double crochets. And you're going to do one half double crochet in each of the stitches around. So again, if you wanted to, you can put your stitch marker into that very first stitch. Or you can just go ahead and continue making your stitches as normal. So we're going to do yarn over your hook. Insert your hook into that next stitch. Yarn over pull through three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through all three loops. And again, you're going to make one half double crochet in each of the stitches around. So go ahead and complete that last round and I will meet up with you and show you how to finish. Okay, so I'm coming up on the beginning of my round and I have one more stitch remaining. two more stitches remaining. Okay, so now that you have your two, your final round, you have the beginning of that round where you have your half double crochet. You're going to insert your hook into the top of that stitch and you're going to leave a little bit of a tail. Make sure to leave a little bit longer just because it's a thicker yarn. You're going to insert your hook, pull through that stitch and pull through that loop on your hook. And then I just like to one more time yarn over and pull through and then pull to tighten. Okay, so then you're going to get your tapestry needle and weave in your ends. And for weaving in your ends, I like to go back and forth three times to really secure my end. I'm just going to go in between these stitches here. And you don't want to pull too tight. You want to just pull enough to hide your stitch or your tail end. And then we're going to go back the other way. And then one more time, we're going to go in a different direction. And this just helps me feel a little bit more secure about this end. But if you have a different method of weaving in your ends, you can do that as well. Okay, so once you feel like your end is secure enough, you're going to go ahead and get your scissors and you're going to cut that end off. And you're going to repeat this for the remainder of your ends. 
and this is what your finished cowl looks like. So let me zoom out a little bit. And as you can see, it's very textured and it's very, very nice and squishy. So I really enjoyed making this Arctic cowl. Again, you can make this in any of the chunky yarns. You don't even have to use the same yarn that I used. Any any chunky yarn would just work would work out just fine. So you can always do that. You want to use a number five bulky weight yarn. And this is just the what the finished cowl looks like. Again, it's nice and squishy. It's very textured with that triple crochet. So hopefully my camera's picking up on that. So thank you so much for joining me today and learning how to make the Arctic Cowl. I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. Please like, comment, and subscribe to see all future videos by me. And as always, happy crocheting! Bye!